The summer heat and dry weather can cause a lot of problems in the garden, what with the increased need for irrigation and with the summer heat causing problems with blossom set on your tomatoes and, and peppers. There is a way that you can use that extra heat and that extra sunlight to your advantage. If you have a section of your garden that you're beginning to get a lot of disease problems in, you want, you're thinking of fumigating it, but you really don't want to use any of the fumigants, you can use soil solarization. And all this is is spreading a piece of plastic over your, over your area and creating a little miniature greenhouse. If you're wondering how this works, just imagine, just remember what happens when you close all the windows on your car on midsummer's day and just leave it there for a few hours. It gets real hot inside there. That's basically the principle that you've got. You seal up the edges so that no air can get in there. The heat comes in, stays in there, and it warms up the soil, and it can get very, very hot underneath there. Temperatures have been recorded easily over 125, 130 degrees Fahrenheit of the soil temperature. This is high enough over a period of time to pasteurize the soil, kill off any harmful fungi, bacteria. If it gets warm enough, hot enough, long enough, it can even start killing soil insects and weed seeds. So it can be a very simple, but very effective way of cleaning up a patch of your garden. It's only really effective during this hot summer months. Beginning about end of June, July definitely, August definitely, even September you can still do it. You need to have it on there for several weeks so if you can start in the beginning of the summer and leave it on for several weeks or even a month and a half, two months, the longer you leave it the more effective it is. If you start it early in the end of June or early July, you can have it on for a month and, and have that patch free and ready to go for your fall plantings of several of your vegetables that don't need to go in until after August 1st. The steps are, there's several of them and they're relatively simple, but they need to be followed in order to get maximum benefit from the method. The first is make certain that your soil is worked up with a rototiller or a spade have it in a good garden ready, planting ready texture. The second is make certain that the soil is moist. Give it a good soaking before you cover it up. There's two very important reasons for this. The first of this is that dry soil acts as an, acts as an insulator and the heat won't penetrate into the soil as far. If the soil is wet, it will conduct the heat and you'll get the heat down into the soil to a much further depth and increase your effectiveness. The second reason is that many of the fungal spores, fungal rest resting bodies, become activated by the heat, by the moisture, and are then killed by the heat. If the soil is not moist, they are more resistant to the heat, and again, the effectiveness of the treatment is not as great. If you're going to be leaving the plastic on for any length of time, You'll want to add some sort of irrigation system underneath the plastic to add moisture to keep that soil moist so you can add moisture halfway through your treatment. You don't want to have to peel off the plastic, re-moisten the soil, and then put the plastic over. You lose too much of the heat. So we've run the biowall irrigation tube down the length and back and down again so that we can cover this area and get it moist again in a couple of weeks after it's been cooking for a while. After you've got the soil prepared, moistened, you have the irrigation system put in, then you're ready to get in your plastic. It doesn't, it's, you must have clear plastic. This doesn't work with black plastic. It must be clear so that the sunlight can get through. It does not have to be very thick plastic. The very thinnest plastic will work fine. You only need it to hold up for just a month, month and a half, two months. It doesn't have to be very sturdy stuff, although sturdy stuff will will work well. You just don't need to have the extra expense. Lay out your plastic. You can hold that. Thank you, Dennis. Lay out the plastic, and we've already done two of the corners, sealing up the edges with loose soil. And you come along and go around all four sides and have it sealed completely so that Air cannot get in, and the heat cannot get out.
We've only had the edges sealed up for just a matter of a couple of minutes and already you can see the condensation that's starting to develop underneath there where it's already beginning to, to heat up. As you can just imagine, after a couple weeks or a month of this, you can get very high temperatures underneath there and that is exactly what we're looking for. Now again, the steps to do it, you want to work up your soil to get it into good workable condition make certain the ground is moist and make certain you leave some provision of getting irrigation water in underneath there to keep that soil moist. Keeping that soil moist is just as important, important as starting out with moist soil. Then cover up with the plastic, clear plastic, thin plastic works just as well or even better than the thick clear plastic. Seal your edges very well and leave it for as long as possible. Two weeks probably minimum, a month or two months is, is much better. The longer you leave it on, the higher the temperatures, the better control that you're going to get. Now, once you remove the plastic, you're going to want to let the soil cool down a little bit. You can't come in there and plant immediately because that soil is hot. The soil being hot enough to kill the fungi and bacteria it will also kill plant roots if they're planted into that soil immediately. So you'll need to let it cool off some. And you now have, you then will have a clean, sterilized area. Try not to contaminate it by bringing in contaminated soil from other parts of the garden, by rototilling with an uncleaned rototiller so that you're bringing in contaminated dirt, or try and keep it as separate as possible treat it as separate as possible from the others to decrease the contamination. You will get some contamination eventually, but try and make it happen as slowly as possible to keep it free of the diseases as long as possible.